What's up, YouTube? It's What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Lady Sass, and we are back with another video. Look, I t I'm not playing with y'all. I done told y'all I'm trying to be consistent. I'm not playing with y'all. Uh-uh. Not this one. Not this one. So, y'all, as y'all can tell by the title, we will be doing a story time, okay? A story time. About the time me and my best friend were taken. Like, we wasn't really taken, but we were taken. So, whatever. We're going to get right into this video. So, I, on this lovely night, you know, like, me and my best friend and, like, our parents, our moms, we had this thing where, or y'all, let me know if y'all had this too, but, like, if we go somewhere, like, my mom drop us off, her mom pick us up, or vice versa, like, um, her mom drop us off, my mom pick us up, right? Okay, so we had that night we were like okay we're gonna go to frankie's all right so we was like we're gonna, we're gonna go to frankie's like that is a place to you know go we have fun like we're young so at the time like frankie's you go to frankie's like it's a lot to do there it's a lot of people there you know so we're gonna go we're gonna go okay so we decided to go and my mom drops us off okay so my mom dropped us off so of course but I tell y'all, my mom drops us off, her mom picks us up. Okay. So we got Frankie's or whatever. And we walking around, having a good time. Like we trying to, we like, we like sightseeing. Like we like seeing who there first. So we're like walking around, walking around. And my best friend see this boy that, I don't know if she was talking to him or they used to talk. But... However, my best friend is happily married now to her wife. Freaking love them. But, um, I don't know if they talked or they used to talk or they were like dating. I don't know. I don't know. We were young. He was like a little bit older. I don't know how much older, but we gonna call him like, we gonna call him Fuego. Okay, so... We see Flake walk. I can't even say that. So, we gonna call him Peanut. So, we see Peanut. And she like, oh, there go Peanut. And I'm like, oh, you know him? And like, he he wasn't all that, he, he wasn't all that good looking. Like, he was like, shregula degula. So, I'm like, oh, you know Peanut? Like, okay. Alright. So, alright, so she goes over there, she speaks or whatever, like, hey, you know, she said whatever, whatever. I didn't really, like, I walked over there with them, but, like, I'm, I'm shy, I'm an introvert, so she walks over there, and I'm, like, on my phone or whatever, so. I'm like, okay, cool, so we go walk around or whatever, and put you on my, Frankie's closed at, like, 10. Frankie's closed at, like, 10, so we were there until it closed because while we were young and we just were wanting to get out the house and have fun so we were there till it closed did we do <laughs> did we really do anything there no we just we just wanted to be there <laughs> we, we were those we we're those type of friends like all right anyway so we played until it closed right so all right it's get time for frankie just frankie the clothes or whatever and it's me and my best friend and then obviously like we walk outside because they're closing of course they want us to get out like you ain't gotta go home but you gotta get up out of here <laughs> so we were walking outside of Frankie's or whatever so my thought my brain okay we waiting on her mama to go pick us up like alright cool so, but I think before that we had agreed like um, 
I think she had said she was already going to call her mom, like, before we had got outside or something like that when we got outside, whatever. That was the hope. That was the case. Okay, so we got outside and then we see Peanut. <laughs> Here goes Peanut again. And so we out there waiting because we like, we waiting for her mom or whatever. So we outside waiting and Peanut like, oh, I got a car. Like, y'all can come sit in my car and wait if that's the case. Me, I'm like, mm -mm. my best friend, because of course, I, I don't know if they were talking or they talk. She was like, yeah. So I'm like, okay. So my best friend goes to get in the car and I'm like, all right, go get in the car too. Like, I can't leave my best friend by herself. Like, I'm not leaving my best friend by herself. Like, no way I'm leaving my best friend by herself. So, all right, we get in the car or whatever. And I'm in the back seat. She's in the front seat. He's like in this old school car. Like I forgot what kind of car it was. Maybe it was a, maybe it was a box Chevy. But it's an old school car. No tint on the windows. It was like a dark color, whatever. But it was dark, or whatever. So she's in the front seat. I'm in the back seat. All right. So we still sitting out there. At this time, it's been like 30 minutes. And I'm like, bestie. Where your mama? <laughs> she only picks up, and she's like, "Yeah, I already called her. You know, she on the way with her." I'm okay, cool. So then, Bestie falls asleep in the front seat. So Bestie is in the front seat, slumped. Like when I say slump, Bestie is in the front seat, slumped. Okay. So then, by that time, Peanut, we in the car with Peanut still. Peanut in the parking lot doing donuts. And I'm like, yo, stop. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, yo? Peanut. What are you doing? Why are you doing donuts in the parking lot? Like. <laughs> so, I tell Bestie, I'm like, hey, wake up. Like, um, your mama coming? And she's like, yeah. Okay, good. Like, all right. I'm not gonna like she's still on the way because Peanut in the parking lot doing donuts. So, alright, you know, like an hour or so passed, and Bestie Mama's still not there, so, I'm like, okay. By that time, I had two phones. Yes, I was young and had two phones, like, I can tell y'all a story on that later. But, I had two phones, and both of my phones decided to die, like, what's the point of having two phones if they're gonna be dead? Yeah, okay. Whatever. So, I had two phones and they both decided to die. So, Bestie, phone was still charged. So, I'm like, alright. As long as I know her phone is charged, like, we good. Like I said, Bestie is still in the front slump, though. So, Peanut, like, oh, we can just go to my house. And I'm like, Corey. <laughs> Uh, we waiting on her mama. Her mama supposed to be here. Like, I don't think we should leave the parking lot. Meanwhile, Bestie is in her front seat slump. <laughs> so, he starts dropping out the parking lot. And I'm like, where we going? <laughs> where we going? My phone is dead. Bestie phone is not dead. Bestie is in her front seat sleep. I'm in the back seat up. Wondering, where are we going? Okay, so whatever, we drive or whatever, whatever, whatever. We driving, we driving, we driving. And finally, we get to his dad's house. His dad's house. His daddy was old, so yeah. We get to his dad's house. So he pulls up or whatever. Um, Bestie wakes up and Bestie like, where are we at? And I'm like... I guess his house. Whatever. So, at that time, he's, like, putting the car in park, whatever, because he parked on the road. Like, the house is, like, right here, and he's, like, parked on the side. Like, he wasn't in the driveway. Like, he's parked on the side. Like, why he's not pulling up in the driveway? This way he lives. Okay. So, he's parked on the side. Before he gets out, he's, like, like, y'all lay down in the car, like, so nobody don't see y'all. I'm going to lock the doors. Okay, so he gets out the car. 
at that time, Bestie taught me, Bestie was still up at the time. She told me her phone was dead. So I'm like, okay. At this point, I'm already in my head like, we in trouble. We in trouble. My mom was the type of mom, I never had to get a whooping. All she had to do was look at me. Or talk to me and I was already in tears. Like, she didn't have to, I never got a whooping. But, yeah. Yeah, all she had to do was talk to me and I was already in tears. Boo hoo and like, I had just got a whooping. And I never got whooped. So, that's how I'm like, yo, we, we, we in trouble. We in trouble. I know my mom don't play that. And I know for sure Bestie Mom don't play that. When I tell y'all Bestie Mom, oh my God. <laughs> I miss her so much. Oh my God. Okay. Bestie Mom didn't play that. So Bestie falls back asleep. And meanwhile, I'm laying down in the back seat. Like, slowly like, picking my head up. Because I'm like, where are we at? So I see him going to the house and I'm like, alright. My phone's dead. So I'm waking, I'm tapping her and I'm like, hey, wake up. Like, call your mama. Call your mama. I we don't know where we at. So I'm like, still like, hey, call your mama, call your mama. Or whatever. She's like my phone dead. Or Next thing you know, her phone rings. And I'm like, I thought you said your phone was dead. I thought you said your phone was dead. Girl, her phone rings. And I just so happened to be looking over the seat. Because like I said, it was an old school car. So I just so happened to be looking over the seat. And I see her mom. And I'm like, hey, your mama calling. Like, first of all, it's a sigh of relief. But at the same time, it's a sign that I know we are in trouble. It's about to be trouble. trouble. We are in trouble. We are in trouble. This late at night, we don't know where we are. And we still haven't got picked up. And my phone's dead. And I know my mom is probably calling my phone. Yeah, so we're in trouble. So I'm like, whatever. So she answers the phone and she's like, really? Really? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. Guess what? My mom was on the other line too. <laughs> they were on three way. They were on three way. And I'm like, we got to get out this car now. <laughs> we got to get out of our... My mom... So y'all, we are out in the dark trying to find the nearest street sign to let our parents know where we are. Like, they had already like reported us missing. This, that, and a third. Like, oh my lord. Like... So we get out, we walk in the dark trying to find a street sign, like skirt, shook up because I'm like, oh my god, we in trouble, we in trouble, we in trouble, we in trouble. No, God, please, no, 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 no. So, um, so we trying to find a street sign, we find a street sign or whatever, and when I tell y'all, like, by the time we hung up, I think about 10 minutes. About 10 minutes after we hung up. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Rewind. We're gonna rewind real quick. Because after we had got up or whatever, the dude came back outside and told us to come inside. He told us to come inside, but he was like, hey, y'all gotta be quiet because my dad is asleep on the couch. And we're like, okay. So we, we were able to go in, sneak in like the kitchen area because the kitchen, no kitchen, living room, whatever. Dad would sleep on the couch and I'm looking like, oh, he old. So I'm like, I'm trying to be real quiet. So we get in there and we go to his room. Y'all, we didn't do nothing, whatever. We just sitting there waiting. So we go, we go to his room and we're just sitting there. We're just sitting there. And I'm like, oh my Lord. So, by the time we freaking got in and even like sat on the bed, like 10 minutes later, her mom and my mom was calling again like come outside. 
Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Come outside. <sighs> Let me <laughs> come outside. Like now, these days I love here come outside. Or I'm outside. Those days? Yeah. I already know it. We're in trouble. We come outside. It's officers. It's police officers. It's my mom. It's bestie mom. They're in two separate cars. And I get a mom, well, her mom is yelling at her first. My mom yelling at her second. Her mom yelling at me second. Well, okay, basically, both of our parents were both yelling at us, fussing us out. I don't know what I was at. That was confusing, whatever. Both of our parents were first uh, fussing us out. Like, it was like when I say it was bad, it was bad. And my mom was like, oh, you need to go to the hospital and get checked. And I'm like, mama, we didn't do anything. Like we had literally just got inside right before y'all pulled up. <laughs> like we had just got inside right before y'all pulled up. Like didn't do nothing, literally. So that next day, like I didn't go to school or whatever because I was too, I was too shook up. Even though, like, it wasn't that bad, but I was still shook up. So I didn't go to school the next day. And then, like, um, bestie mom didn't want us to talk anymore. Because, of course, that's a, you know, that's a tough situation. Like, when both of your, like, your, your child and her best friend are out missing and there was no type of communication or there was a miscommunication, yeah, like, so bestie mom didn't want us to talk again. After a while, my mom was just like, y'all gonna be friends regardless at the end of the day. So, like, it was a lesson. Like, it was a lesson learned. So, for a while, me and best friend was, like, sneaking to see each other. Like, my mom would drop me over there, over at, in her neighborhood area, like, because she knew that her mom wouldn't allow us to see each other. So, um, Bestie would be like, uh, meet me at the park or have your mom drop you off at the park or whatever so I get dropped off at the park and then I would get picked up before her mom got off work or before her mom came back home so that's what we were doing for oh my god a long probably like a year probably like a year because bestie mom was not playing it she was real old school so she was not playing it and then like we would she would um sneak and call me or whatever and every time we'd be on the phone, I'm like, Bestie, tell your mama I said, hey, like, because I, like, that's my best friend. Like, y'all, we were, when I tell y'all, we were with each other almost every day, every weekend. That was my girl. That's my girl. Like, that's still my girl. To this day, that's still my girl. And I'm like, Ma. I was like, uh, Bestie, tell your mama I said, hey. And she'll, like, have, give myself, like, she'll give me a fake name and be like, oh, so-and-so said, hey. And I was like, now you know that is not my name. Like, she didn't even want to tell her mom that, you know, she was still talking to me or whatever. So, finally, I'm telling my mom, like, hey, I think you should talk to her mom because her mom still doesn't want us to see each other. So, like, basically, my mom had called her mom and was just like, hey, you know, these girls are going to be girls. They, it was a lesson learned. They still going to be friends. This, that, and third, whatever. We apologize. They apologize. You know. And then we eventually um, were able to see each other again. Oh my God. We were able to see each other again. We were able to talk to each other again. Everything was like regular. Like after that day. Well. After that like year. <laughs> everything became regular. But it was just like. Yo. Now. Like that situation is mad funny. That situation is mad funny now. But then. I'm like, I know we in trouble. I know we in trouble. I know we in trouble. Like, I was like, ugh, trying to pace myself. My mom was like, why didn't you get out the car and go knock on somebody's door to let you use their phone? I'm like, mama, it was dark. I'm about to go knock on nobody's door. I ain't probably knock on nobody's door. I better go the door to door and knock it. It was late, y'all. But I mean, I understood where she was coming from. I definitely understood where she was coming from. But then I was like, uh-uh. And from... I promise y'all, like, when I tell y'all, I promise y'all, I promise y'all, from that day on, I never let my phone die.
Nice. Ever. Like I said, at that at that time, I had two phones and they were both dead. But after that whole situation or whatever, I will never ever let my phone die again. It may be close, but it ain't gonna die. And I only got my bag beside me. But for sure, now, I keep a charger with me, okay? Like, we not about to play those games. I keep a charger with me. We ain't playing those games now. Like, that was a lesson. It was like a life lesson. And what I got from that was to not let my phone die again. <laughs> it's funny because out of all of that, not to let my phone die, yeah. Because that was the basis of everything. Because if I would have had my phone and my phone would have been charged, like, I would probably, I would have been calling my mom, like, hey, can you come pick us up instead? Because, you know, obviously, because bestie mama ain't got here yet. So, that was definitely... That was definitely um, what I got from that situation. Like I said, now it's funny, but <laughs> then, oh, I just knew that was the end of it for me. <laughs> I just knew it, like. But my mom, so like, my mom is so forgiving, and she has such a big heart that like, she can be mad one second, and the next second she's fine. The next second she's fine like everything is back to normal <laughs> versus me like when i'm mad i feel like i gotta stay mad but i whatever but yeah so my biggest life lesson on that was to never let my phone die and i don't let my phone die now like i refuse to let my phone die to this day like i said it may get close it may get to five percent or it may get a look like four percent three percent this thing won't ever turn off though for sure we ain't never let this thing turn off <laughs> but yeah y'all that's it y'all that's the i like I, I put this on my um my instagram story i put a poll up on what my next video should be and it was either a collab or story time if i chose story time so my next video would definitely be a collab so stay tuned for that i think i got some people that um i do want to work with for sure got people i want to work with for sure but y'all <laughs> let me know if, what y'all want to see from me because uh, just let me know just let me know because this is a year of being consistent that's my that's my word this year i said that when january hit consistency is my word for the year and that's what i'm trying to do i'm trying to be more consistent um but that was it that was, that was my story time we got took <laughs> But well, anyway, y'all, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It's your girl, Lady Stats, and we are back.